All right, here we're going to look at two spreads, uh, option spreads, stock and option spreads. These are important for your own trading strategies, uh, but they will also be important in, in future lectures for uh, understanding uh, option pricing, the first steps into option pricing, specifically put call parity. Uh, and they're also very useful for understanding relationships between, no arbitrage relationships between options of uh, different strikes and calls and puts. So um, option spreads are a really uh, interesting area. Uh, beyond simple trading strategies. Uh, so the first two we'll, we're going to talk about is a protective put and a covered call. So the idea of a protective put strategy is one, we uh, buy the stock. And let's say we, bought, we buy the stock uh, for uh, $100. So we'll say we bought the stock for $100. Uh, and two, then we uh, buy a put option. Uh, we buy a put uh, with a strike below uh, the stock, what you paid for the stock. So let's say we buy a put with a uh, strike price equal to $90. And we uh, paid for the put, the premium uh, is, let's just say, um, $3. So to understand the protective put, we can, we can chart it up here. Uh, and the nice thing is uh, we're going to chart it so we'll, we'll see the profit and loss uh, for every underlying stock price. This axis is going to be the underlying stock price. Um, this is going to be dollars, uh, P&L, profit and loss. Uh, and it will also give us an idea of what the max gain, max loss is uh, on this position and where we break even and so forth. So um, the first thing here is we bought the stock for 100. So we can put uh, 100 here. I'll put it right here, 100. And our P&L on a stock is just going to be a line like that. Slope of one, stock goes up to a 101. We make a dollar, down to 99, we lose a dollar. And adding on here, uh, buying a put with a strike at 90. So we can put, uh, this is uh, where the, this is the strike price. We paid $3 for it. So the idea here is um, anywhere above three, uh, anywhere above 90, we lose uh, $3 on the option at 90. The, the option is going to, any below 90, the option is going to be worth more money. Of course, we're going to break, the option breaks even at 87. Um, so this is the, what the profit and loss looks like on, on the option. Now, to get the, the P&L on any spread, all we have to do is sum the P&L here and sum the, you know, the profit on the option with the profit uh, on the stock at each point. Uh, keep in mind, this is negative 3. Uh, and it's really useful just to start at wherever the kinks are. So here we'll just figure out what the what the PL on the protective put position is at 90, where the kink is. Um, of course, at 90 we lose $10 on the stock. We also lose $3 on on the option. So our loss here is 13. So I'll put a dot here. Um, this is negative 13. Now the idea is uh, below 90 we gain on the put uh, what we lose on on the stock. So uh, these two offset each other. So our, our P&L for the protective put position is just flat uh, below 90. And I'll, I'll put a little squiggly line. So this is, the, uh, this is the combined, this is the protective put position. Now above 90, uh, the option uh, doesn't change, the P&L doesn't change, but the stock does. So this is going to go up along the stock here like this. Uh, and we are going to break even here at 103. So this is what the protective position, uh, protective put position looks like. Uh, so obviously, what we're doing with this position is we are are giving uh, we're giving up upside in, in in return for protecting us from downside. So that's the idea: reduce my downside, but then I also have to reduce my upside. Uh, max gain. Our max gain here has no limit. Um, so uh, just say no limit to our gain. Uh, max loss, that's going to be our 13, so here our loss is limited to $13. Uh, and we break even, we break even when the underlying, this is of course the stock price at expiration. We break even when the stock price at the expiration of the option is 103. So, so this is the protective put position. Now, uh, keep in mind, you can always, without doing this chart, you can always get you know your max loss by simply saying, okay, well, uh, I'm going to lose until the strike price of the put. So here I'm losing ten dollars, and then 
I, I lose the, the, the price of the put um, at 90. So uh, you can always get this by just taking the price at which you buy the stock minus uh, the strike price of the put option plus what you paid for the put option. That's an easy way to get the 13. Um, of course, we're always going to break even at the, what we paid for the stock plus uh, the, the price we paid for the put. So that's the, the 100 plus um, the $3 we paid for the put. So the idea of this is um, you know, if, if the stock is below, uh, what is this going to be? This, this point, which is going to be 87, um, uh, we are glad we put on the protective put position. Of course, any price above that, uh, we, are, we uh, would prefer that we didn't have the protective put position on. So the idea here is, you know, we're giving, we're, we're going to be worse off in all the states above $87 here um, in return for not having to worry at all if the stock uh, of being happy if the stock falls below below 87, happy that we had the protective put position on. So the next one, uh, so that's protective put, uh, and now we have a uh, covered call, our two basic spread strategies. Our covered call will still buy the stock for 110, uh, but we'll sell a uh, we'll sell a call. And we're usually selling a call for a strike above what we paid. So we'll say we sold a, a, a 100, oh, let's do 110, uh, 110 strike price call option. Uh, and of course, for this, we receive, we receive, I'll make up a number $2. So in this, we're paid $2. Um, we'll do the same chart with, uh, and then have max gain, max loss, and break even. So, uh, looking at, uh, we bought the stock for 100, uh, call as a strike of uh, 110, so here we'll put 100, um, and we'll put the strike price 110 here. P&L on the stock, again, simply line slope of 1. Um, here we received $2, so the, the payoff on the call looks like this. Uh, the call we sold, it's going to be flat up until 110. Uh, and then it's going to decrease there. Uh, this is uh, two dollars, of course, plus two dollars. Now the combined position, all we have to do is sum at each point. Again, it makes sense to start at the kink. So at, at one ten, we gain ten dollars on the stock. Uh, we gain two dollars uh, on the the option, uh, and so plus twelve. So here we have twelve dollars. When the stock is above one ten, again the uh, Whatever we gain on the stock, we lose on the call. So this is going to be flat off in this point. And then it's going to, because this is flat here, it's going to follow this line all the way down there. Uh, and we're going to break even at 98. So we break even at 98. So now the idea here is uh, our max gain, $12. Our max loss, well, the stock can go all the way down to zero, in which case we'll lose $100 on the stock. We'll gain two dollars on the call option, so max loss is ninety-eight, and then we break even uh, when the underlying stock price is ninety-eight. Of course, these two will always be the same. Uh, so this this protective put, I mean, sorry, this covered call and all. So this is the the covered call position here. The idea of this spread is we're giving away upside to be better in all other states. So the idea is. Um, you know, if the, the stock goes above 112, we're worse off having put on the covered call. However, if the stock is anything below 112, we are, we are better off for, for having the covered call position. So again, uh, giving, away, giving away some upside in, in return for being better off in all the down states, which is typical. That's what we can do with up and spreads. We can, we can gain, um, we can reduce downside by um, also reducing our, uh, what we make in up states and so forth. So it's always a trade-off. Um, good. The next thing here uh, is to put these two together uh, into a caller. So we can, uh, a caller is going to be buying the stock, sell, uh, selling the call and buying the put. Uh, and I'll leave that for, for another lecture. Uh, um, good.